Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Adam Burke from BangTheBook.com, coming to you with a look at Game 303-304, Thursday night college football action to kick off Week 4. Houston takes on Tulane down in New Orleans. Got a lot of thoughts for you coming up here on this game. We got a lot of thoughts over at BangTheBook.com as well. My updated college football power ratings are posted. We're covering the WNBA playoffs, the remainder of the Major League Baseball season, and of course, lots of college football in NFL content on a weekly basis over at the website. Make sure you check that out. It's the NASCAR playoffs as well. We've got soccer. We cover eSports. We cover a lot of different things over there at the website, so make sure you check it all out. Also, make sure you're checking out Bang the Book Radio every Monday through Friday. I've got some of the uh, some of the smartest guests out there in the business, some writers, some handicappers, a lot of different people that join me over the course of the season there on the show. You can find those audio recordings right here on our Bang the Book YouTube page. You can also find us on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Spreaker, Stitcher, SoundCloud, uh, Podbean, TuneIn. We're all over the place. It's really not hard to find Bang the Book Radio, so make sure that you check it out. All right, so as I mentioned, game 303-304 here. Houston and Tulane AAC matchup in this one. Tulane a a 4.5-point favorite, total of 55.5 on this game. We saw a very big move early in the week on the side as well as the total for this one. Side going up, opened anywhere from one and a half to two and a half, going all the way up to five and a half at some places out there in the market before coming back down, settling in here a little bit at that four and a half number. We've also seen a big move on the total from 60 and a half down to 55 and a half. So the expectation here, I guess, for a little bit of a low scoring game. A lot of stuff going on for Houston here. I guess it's a very difficult spot for the Cougars. They're coming off of playing Washington State last Friday. Facing the air raid is one thing. Facing this modified spread option for Tulane is another. Very, very tough situational spot. And furthermore, you got a brand new coaching staff there with Houston. New head coach, new coordinators. If this was last year or they still had the same holdovers, you know the game planning, the prepping that they have done for Tulane maybe would have had more of an impact. But now you've got coaches going through the prep process for the Green Wave for the first time, and also Tulane with a new offensive coordinator. So they're doing some different things with that modified spread, trying to throw the football a little bit more. You're going to be very gap responsible against this Tulane team. Tough spot here for Houston, going from one very different offense to another with a short week, too, playing here on Thursday night. Also, when you look at this game for Houston, one of the reasons why this line moved against them Derek King has just not been efficient for Dana Holgerson as of yet. Derek King last year, you know, 64.7 or 63.5 percent, excuse me, completion percentage in 345 attempts, 64.7 percent two years ago. This year, 54.5 percent, and it wasn't just the Oklahoma game. Derek King, 15 of 26, sacked four times against Prairie View A and M. 13 for 24 last Friday against Washington State. Sacked twice in that game as well. Leading receiver from last year, Marquez Stevenson. Just not getting open for a lot of chunk plays. Does have 15 catches for 139 yards, but 30 of those yards on one catch. So 14 for 109 otherwise. They're not getting enough chunk plays in the passing game. Now the running game has been very good, and De'Ara King is a very mobile quarterback. That has certainly helped them a little bit. 5.8 yards per carry on the season. 21st in the nation in that department. But still, this Houston team, nowhere near as explosive as we're used to seeing. And that could be a problem here against Tulane. If the Green Wave are able to move the chains, are able to control the clock, control the time of possession here, Houston's going to be very efficient in that passing game, very efficient with their possessions. You're going to have to maximize them when they get them. I don't know if that's going to be the case here. And for Tulane, Look, they blew out FIU. FIU is a much worse team than we thought coming into the season. Played tough, hung in there against Auburn, then blew out Missouri State. Glorified scrimmage last week for Tulane. But Tulane is trending in a positive direction under Willie Fritz. Defense improved by 1.1 yards per play last season uh, compared to 2017. So the defense is getting better. The offense is getting more efficient. Tulane's the play here this week. And look, my power rating number is only Tulane minus one. So from a raw power rating standpoint, this line probably does have some value on Houston, but when you factor in all of the different situational spot elements, 
you factor in how Derek King just hasn't played particularly well for this offense, it's a tough spot here for Houston this week. So certainly like Tulane more under a field goal, certainly like Tulane more at three and a half, at four and a half with the short week, with two programs that appear to be going in opposite directions. We'll take the green wave here, number 304 by rotation number in this Thursday night game to kick off week four. I'm Adam Burke for bangthebook.com.